All right, go ahead. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, Carrie. Hi. So I'm going to do Hi. my special work. Hi. Carrie's favorite features. So I wrote them all down. And uh, I want you to sound great, but I'm going to, before I do that, I'm going to start off with a big song. 76 trombones and a little bit of Mickey Mouse March. So I'm using the Swing March 6-8. That great. That was my workshop. Thanks. <laughs> there. All right, Carrie. Just when you're teaching, just a little FY for you. Um, I would occasionally you may want to go to your gallery boat view. Oh, okay. Just so you could see all the students while you're teaching, you're not just staring at yourself. Sometimes that helps. A lot of the teachers will say, so "I don't want to just look at myself." We have you spotlighted still, so that's how it will be recorded. But if you want to see some of the students as you're teaching, like you're teaching a class, that'll help you out a little bit. Okay. It's all yours. Okay. So, so what I'm going to start off with is harmony. I love harmony. Who likes harmony? Yay. <laughs> so harmony makes me sound great, and it goes uh, to the right hand. And I often think about the different voice parts, the soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. So they're singing different, different notes, and they're creating the harmony. And uh, it's going to go to the right hand. And the first harmony I'm going to talk about is AOC, automatic organ chord, or, or any old chord. So, so there's the, the harmony section, Ooh. and I've got a AOC, duet, three-part, and then more. There's a bunch more in there. So I'm going to start off with the AOC. Let me just check. Anyway, all right. So AOC, what it'll do is it'll play three notes all together in one finger. That's with AOC, without. I got it. 
play three notes with AOC. So it helps me sound full and rich. That was the first harmony on the, most of your instruments. And I like to use it with organ times stuff too. But here we go with AOC. AOC. <laughs> so with AOC on, and it comes on a lot when I pick different rhythms, like it's on right now with the waltz. So the first harmony, AOC, and it plays three notes and real close together. And like I said, organ is really good with the AOC. The next one is duet. So duet plays two notes. And I'm just going to demonstrate what it looks like. Well, I don't like it with the organ, but I like it with fiddles. or mariachi trumpets. You ever use that before, a duet with the mariachi trumpets or the fiddles? And it plays two notes. with one finger. Here it is. Same thing. I also like to use duet with guitar. So I'm going to put on the flamenco guitar and put on duet. the duet, I don't want three full, too many notes. I just want two. Trumpet, I'll put the trumpet on. And then I'll put the duet on with it. Isn't that neat? Yay. Okay. So then the next harmony I'm going to talk about is uh, four part. Watch what it looks like. It's actually putting four notes. That's a lot of sound. So four part sounds really good with strings. Okay, four-part strings. 
Makes me sound full and rich. Four notes all together at one with the four part strings. Also, I'm going to put some four saxophones together. That's it, a nice big band sound. With. Four part, yay! So the next one I want to talk about is, let me think, five part. Also, block. They're really close. Anybody ever work with somebody and then all of a sudden they wrote in your song a sixth chord? And you're like, sixth chord? How do I do that? Oh, well, yeah, you got to use four fingers, but <laughs> it's a sixth chord and then you like, you play it. But anyway, it's five notes together. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's with the five parts. So let me demonstrate it now. Five part. Five part. Um, now I'm going to do the block. And block is used with the George Shearing sound or Nat King Cole. So I'm going to go to the uh, get a George Shearing sound and it puts on the block harmony and it does five notes at once in one finger. Black Harmony, yay! Carrie, looks like you got a question here from Mercedes. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Mercedes. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, we can hear you. All right, can any of these four or five part harmonies be created on the fanfare with a button, or is this simply playing it with your four or five fingers. Yeah, there's a, there's a, in the screen, it says PVG, piano vocal guitar, 
and it'll it's on some of the big band ones and it's in uh you'll see it in the screen it'll say pvg piano vocal guitar and they put the five part with it the block okay yeah that's the part right one. now but it's it's in there now do you have to have the duet no no it'll go get it for you it goes in the harmony button and puts it on for you okay I can't see which one it is but it's mm -hmm. it goes on all right yeah thank you pvg, PVG it says PVG. Yeah. Okay. Nano vocal guitar. And we got a question from Bev. Go ahead, Bev. Hi. Uh, with the journey, uh, we have some names that I'm not sure which the four part and the five part belong to. Could you tell yeah. us what it would be? One is like the octave uh, duet, open block. I can't remember the others country i think is one so i'm not sure how to compare my four part and my five part do you have your manual out uh i don't i while we're while you're playing i can run grab it okay yeah four part five part is four part plus one more note so it's another note thrown in together I'll go down and, grab it. and it's in your harmony button So it goes duet, then the AOC, then the four part, and then the five part. So it's just another note on top of each other. And certain sounds just can use more than one note like that. These are all going to be in your presets already, but I'm just going to go through them and show you what each one does so you know what it does. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the next thing. I remember I was teaching a class once, and I said, harmonies always below the melody note. I thought I was for sure, because that's how they were so far. And then a guy shaking his head, not in barbershop. I was like, oh, okay. And it turns out sometimes they put a another note above the melody note. And I was like, how is that possible? But Lowry did it with two of them, country, harmony, and barbershop, where they actually put another note above your melody note. And that's how we get the Floyd Kramer sound. Watch this. how it's done manually but with your country your Floyd Kramer sound what they're doing is they're putting a note above it and I was like whoa so the Floyd Kramer, he's the one that put the twang in the piano, and he's putting a, a melody note above, a, a note above the melody, and the country harmony does that for you. When your organ says Floyd's piano, it's doing it for you. Isn't that great? Puts a note above it. So it's actually playing three notes, but one's flicked. So that's a different one. It's used for great for uh, Floyd Kramer, country, harmony, also duet voices, putting the harmony on. <laughs> That's something different. Put country harmony with some of your vocal sounds. It's really neat. Figure that out. So, what it, Bev, what was your question?
I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No, still no. There we go. Okay. I was unmuted while I was gone. That's okay. Uh, I show where I have the block, which says it adds the four notes, but none of mine say they add a uh, four part or five part on the, on the journey. It goes AOC duet. Then it goes to open, which it says adds two notes to the upper keyboard. Yeah. I'll talk about open in a second. Okay. And then it goes to octave duet that adds one note like yep. the duet. I'm going to talk about that, not yet. Okay. Then I've got rock that adds two notes below. Then I've got octave yep. that adds, uh, and then I've got country and then back to block. So maybe block. I can have five part on mine. So you have five part. The block is the five part, but you don't have the four part. Okay. Four part. Yeah. The Thank block you. is five part. Yeah. Yeah, got that. Okay, great, thanks. Good. So, uh, country and barbershop actually are unique, but I, I don't use the barbershop as much, but the country I use a lot for the Floyd Kramer. That's how we're getting the Floyd Kramer. Also for Alley Cat. Watch this. I saw people play Alley Cat like this. They put a note on top. And I learned how to do it, and I tried to show somebody, and they're like, <laughs> I, 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 I can't do it. So then I figured out, oh, wait, we can just put the country harmony on. Watch this. Check this out. Yay. Same sound. Put the piano on with the country, and it sounds just like the alley cat that I've heard before instead of duet, country harmony with piano. The next one I want to talk about is the polka harmony, also called octave duet. They changed the name because people thought you only can use it with polkas. Polka harmony is great for ragtime, and I'm going to show you. It goes with the entertainer. Watch this. Octave duet, I mean, yeah, octave duet or polka harmony does a s adds two notes pretty far below, an octave and the duet together. So it looks like this. You'd actually have to make a claw and go like this to do this. But with polka harmony, you can do it with one finger. I was so excited when I figured this out. Isn't that great? <laughs> Same thing. So let's put it on with the rhythm. The uh, Joplin stride rhythm. Screamed loud like that was going to help. Without all my fingers, with polka or octave duet. Yay! I was so excited when I figured that out. So, polka or octave duet is a great honky-tonk. That's all I use it for, mostly. And that's how accordion players play their chord. That's why they call it polka harmony. But you just put on octave duet or polka harmony with the piano, and you play the entertainer, and it's just like it's the real thing. OK. So the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, fourths and fifths. They changed the name to Rock Harmony. It's the same thing. 
it's how a, a electric guitar player this is for the oh the baby boomer people <laughs> people want to play like this <laughs> And they want to play rock, heavy rock music, rock, harmony, or fourths and fifths is how to do it. Fourths. There we go. <laughs> I used to have long hair at one time, so, you know. <laughs> okay. So those are the harmonies, that I, my favorite ones I use a lot. And they help you sound great. And I uh, hope you wrote those down. And if not, get with your personal assistant, and they'll show you. The next one, fill. My favorite feature, FX or fill. All right, so... Fill, what does it do? Well, when there's a long tied note, you can hit fill, and it'll fill in the gap of the song. Sometimes you can hold the fill and you get a whole nother part. Did you know that fill sometimes is up to three parts? Three different parts. Sometimes it goes into an endless one. Let me show you one that does like two main parts. Like if I do country swing, it's got two parts. Here's the first part. Here's the second part. Here's both of them. So there's two different parts, and it's what's fun is when you hit when you put the fill on, you might get one of the other. But if you time it, you can get them just the way you want it. Like Broadway. I love the Broadway one. Or this one. Or this one. So I'm going to uh, put it with the song. Okay, I'll do my favorite fill, the train. You know, you can get three train whistles. You can actually get four or five, but it ha you have to hold it through. Here's, <laughs> see if you can do this. Now, I have to also explain how you do the fill, how many different ways. I think there's five ways. The first way is if you have the button. You hit the button. The next way is the kick switch on the right. The next way is maybe the touch bar. Next way would be maybe the bass pedal. Bass pedal. So that's one, two, three, four times. 
I can't think of the fifth right now. But anyway, four ways you can do the, the train, whatever you f find. So we can do the button, the kick switch to the right, touch bar, or a bass pedal. Depends like on some fanfares and journeys, they like to do it on the bass pedal. Anyway, here's the train, and if you, you can get one, two, three whistles, maybe four. That was funny. So anyway, this is that last one I had a time. Here it is with the song. The fill, yay. Uh, how about this one? Big band, the fill goes with in the mood. It just matches. Here's the fill. So those are fills that you put in the gaps. Now I want to show you a fill that you hold. You hold it longer than you think, but you're going to get a drum solo. Here's a few of them. I'm going to go into this rhythm called Vegas Big Band. Vegas Big Band. And check this out. Isn't that great? You just hold it and you get a drum solo. The other one is Surf's Up. Check this one out. That neat it's where you hold it and you get the whole drum solo so there's more than just kicking it and that's it sometimes you want to hold it and you get a lot more how about this one 50s ballad has a long beautiful string So what, what I would do, go through the rhythms and listen, hold it longer and see if your rhythm goes further. You're fine. It's, it's like a treasure you find. 
it's, there's a lot of them in there that, that keep going and do a whole nother thing. So that's the fill. We've got a lot of them I like. And you, um, next thing, the transposer. Yay. Gary, before you move on to that, uh, we got yeah. one question. Yeah. Let's just see if that's, uh, I think, it's, Annette. It's, Go ahead. Yeah, right. where, did you, where did you find surfs up? Okay, on this instrument, it's under contempo. What instrument do you have? I have the symphony. Yeah, Con, uh, contempo. Yep. And then it's in there. It's right. I found it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I found it. Thank you. And we have a question from Mercedes again as well. Go ahead, Mercedes. Can you hear me? Yep. All right. I am still confused about how you can use the pedals for the fill function. Okay, ready? Yes. On, the, on your fanfare, on, on the left, a little bit up, there's some orange buttons, and one of them says pedal magic. Okay. And as you press it, the little light keeps going over from get close to whatever else, and then it says fill. And it lights up, and then you have them on the bass pedals. So and you hit a little, little orange button okay. three times, and then you got them on the bass. Oh, yeah, long and short, get close, and then fill. Thank you. You're welcome. So watch this, the transposer. I want to tell you about five reasons to use a transposer. The top reason for years for me was to go up during a song for excitement. And that's the number one use for a long time. It's like this. You get to a big part. They do it in American Idol and all those shows. They're in the big part, middle part, and then they go, oh, they go up. And the whole audience claps. Don't know what happened, but it's, they went up in key. Lots of songs do it. Here it is. go up you just hit the sharp sharp one you go up for excitement maybe at the end of the song or there is certain places where you could do it in the middle of a song but you have to work with your person but uh, at the end of the song you hit it up and you do it again it's very exciting like this <laughs> That was the number one use for the transposer, but then I started, you know, studying more about stuff, and then I realized, wait, different instruments are in different keys, like E flat saxophone, B flat clarinet, things like that. And I was like, whoa, I can make a, maybe go, and then Dennis saw, and other people would come and say, oh, you need to transpose it to make the instrument sound better. So I did that, and it worked. So when I go to, uh, Let's say I go to a really good saxophone, like the Boots Randolph. If I go to E flat, it sounds so much better. Watch this. flat saxophone here's C here's E flat it's like it's real it's, the, it's it or the clarinet B 
B-flat. That's another use to try to change the, the key to make the instrument sound better. Here's another uh, reason. Let's say you put on, a lot of people have their phone and their iPad and they go to YouTube and they're listening to the original and they want to hear it. And I do this a lot. And then I, I have it in easy play and I have it going and then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, oh man, it's not matching. So I can use the transposer to match to it. And uh, here's a few that several I figured out. I memorized uh, Glenn Miller. Moonlight Serenade. I played it for years, and it's just written in F, and it sounds like this. Well, then I listened to the original, and he's down two steps to B flat, and it sounds so much better. If you start using the transposer, here's what will happen. At first, to be like, I don't know what I'm doing. But then your ear gets a lot better. In music, there's 12 keys that someone could play in. We play in C, F, and G mostly. They're the easiest keys on a keyboard to play. We play C, F, and G. So that's three keys. Sometimes D. Like, really, like, not that much. But if you use your transposer, you're going you're gonna to experience, without having to learn it, different keys. Your ear is listening all the time, and I found that out. My ear got so much better, so much more fine-tuned just by using my transposer. So you can use your transposer to go up in excitement, to make instruments sound more authentic. You could match. It's a little difficult, but you can match to the original recording. Or if someone came over... And they said, hey, I've got a guitar or I've got an instrument. I'm going to come over and play with, your, you know, with you. And you say, okay. And then you can use your transposer if they're not in your key. Let's see. Another reason, someone's going to come over and they're going to sing. When I sing happy birthday, I go down to B flat for a deeper tone. Since I've been showing people at our store that, some people right away bring their work into B-flat right away, and they have a nice, deeper tone. And they, that's, that's part of their setting. So at least they're using it. So the transposer, yay! You can go up or down, make it more richful or higher pitched. Here we go. I do Misty in E-flat, up three. Here's it in C. Trust me, use your transposer. You're going to get playing a lot better all of a sudden because your ear it just gets better. Okay, one more feature. <laughs> you was right. I won't be able to get them all in. Um, the glide. Yay. The glide. <laughs> the number one use originally was the Hawaiian guitar glide. Now, the glide could be done on the number one first was the left kick switch. Then on the right touch bar. It also can go on the bass pedals, bass pedals, kick, left kick switch, or the touch bar. 
Now let me demonstrate um, some glides. Country, Hawaiian are the top ones. What I'm going to do is put a duet with the guitar and glide it, and then kick the kick switch for the fill. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Does anybody have any questions on anything he's gone over today? Because uh, he's going to play a song on our way out. But before that, I'll do some announcements as well. So don't leave just yet. But uh, let's find out if anybody has any questions. More, more, more. More, more, more. That's yeah. a good thing. <laughs> I don't, All right. I see two questions. We got Peg. Go ahead, Peg. It should ask you to unmute. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. All right, we'll start with Helen because she's already unmuted. So go ahead, Helen. Hi, is Robert going to send us the materials for this class? I don't know if there were any materials for it that are printable. So you can rewatch oh, okay. it though. So it'll be on YouTube. So you can watch it anytime. Okay. Over and over and over. Okay. And over. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> So let's see, uh, Peg, did you have a question still? Uh, yes, I think I'm unmuted. Um, yep. If I'm going to use the pedal to do the glide, is there a sequence or do I hit the pedal and the note at the same time? Uh, good job. That's it. You, you reminded me about that, how to use it. Okay. That's the question. Here we go. At the same time could work or before it and then hit the note, but I can do it at the same time. It would work good. But you got to keep holding the key when you're done. Watch this. Or. So I'm going to hit them at the same time. But don't let go of the key. You don't like this. Go like, let go of your bass, pet, your kick switch. And keep holding the key because you're going down the up.
Thank you. Great question. That was it. I mean, some people go like this. At least you're trying to do it. You got to just start doing it. At the same time or whatever. Just glide that note. But if you did at the same time, it's better. It's more. All right, Ronald. Good yeah, what, what instrument are you playing on, Gary? Prestige Plus. Okay. Uh, can you put the AOC on the lower also? Yeah. On that model? Like, sure. do the AOC? Yeah. Yes, I can, but it, what the sound that's going there right now doesn't get affected by it. But, um, yeah, you could do that. Watch. So there's an option for upper or lower there. Okay. Okay. I just was wondering on that model. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Isn't that great? So I used everything on that, la that last song. I did fill. I transposed up for excitement. I was using duet and the glide. I use everything. I try to use everything when I'm playing. Use all the features. Anything else? All right, I don't see any other questions. So I'm just going to give you a couple of announcements. He's going to work on a, a song that he's going to play for you on his way out. And he'll probably use some of the features he talked about today, I'm guessing. So keep an ear out for those. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, just a couple things coming up here. Uh, Friday this week, we have a concert artist that's going to be performing that some of you may or may not have seen. Uh, we're very lucky to get to see him play. His name's Andrew Leach. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. I just saw him teach a class a couple days ago, and it was fantastic. Uh, so I'm excited to hear him play. So don't miss it. That is Friday at 11 o'clock in Arizona in Florida. That would be 2 p.m. Uh, if you live somewhere else, you'll have to look it up. Uh, otherwise, uh, keep, uh, make sure you keep looking at the emails you're getting. They all have some different classes in them as well that are good uh, opportunities for you to learn about your instruments. Um, we have a, a workshop based on pretty much every uh, instrument uh, series. So you'll see some for SE series, SU series, A series. And you kind of want to know what type of model you have. So if you're not sure, just ask us. But otherwise, you'll see it all listed there out for you. Um, and lastly, uh, we, our website. We've got a website going on now. It's pretty much up to speed. Uh, we're working on a couple other things, so we'll announce them as we move along. But it would be worth it for you guys to, uh, it should be on the bottom of our emails as well. If you go to our website, just start exploring it a little bit, OK? We'll give you some more things uh, you can do with it in the future, but uh, in your free time, just go to it and check it out, uh, see what you can find. But eventually, just know we are going to be putting links for these classes and everything like that will be, uh, you'll be accessing from our website. That way we don't have to email you, you know, five times a day or anything like that because uh, we want it to be easy for you as well. So on that website, it'll have a calendar in some spot that where you could just click on today's event and click on the link and then you're in. Uh, it may ask you to put your name or something like that, but otherwise that's what we got going on so far. So just check it out for now. We'll give you more news on that in the future, but uh, I'll throw it back to Kerry and he will play us out. So thank you everybody for attending and hit it, Kerry. Okay, watch this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, Pennsylvania polka. So I'm going to use uh, the happy polka. I'm going to be I'm going to be using the transposer for excitement. It automatically put on the polka harmony um, for me. So now when it goes, it goes. Now right there, something's supposed to happen. So let's go clap, 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 clap. So that's when I'm going to kick my kick switch or add my fill.
Isn't that great? So I'm going to do Pennsylvania polka. It already has the harmony on. I'm going to use the transposer. You'll see when I go through it once, I'm going to hit it up for excitement. Here we go. You hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.